When the world's first airplane flew in 1903, everyone found it hard to believe. Because before that, flying was seen as a part of fantasy. However, some scientists have found evidence that suggests that the world's first airplane may not have been invented by the Wright brothers, but it was already done by ancient civilizations thousands of years ago. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. In Colombia's rainforest, there is a place where in ancient time a civilization used to live, who made different objects with a mixture of gold and copper, with great accuracy and beauty. This civilization is now known as Quimbaya. Thousands of years ago, this entire civilization came to an end due to some natural calamity, but these people had left a lot of things behind them. In 1965, a team of archaeologists and researchers while excavating the area found a big chest full of gold objects. This was a small portion of the artifacts that people of Quimbaya civilization used to make. From jewelry to decoration pieces, there was everything in the chest. But there was one thing which attracted everyone's attention. There was one artifact which looked like a modern airplane. Thousands of years ago, there were no airplanes, therefore people thought it was a gold model of some winged insect. But there was something about this model that was about to surprise everyone. When this model was sent to aerodynamic experts for detailed study, they uncovered several layers of secrets. It was found that the model was quite different from the birds and insects, because there is no bird whose tail is upright, unlike this model. This tail is called rudder in engineering, a very important part of the aircrafts, which controls their direction. Also, all the insects and birds had their wings attached to the upper of their body, whereas in this model's wings are attached to the lower part of the body, and this can only be seen in modern airplanes and the space shuttle. These wings are called ailerons in engineering, which helps in turning the aircraft left and right. More than thousands of years before Wright brothers, this model has made the experts and researchers confused. Because along with rudder and ailerons, the design of this model is aerodynamics friendly. Aircraft are designed to minimize air resistance during flight. Aircraft are designed in such a way that they face minimum air resistance. And this design is called aerodynamics friendly design. That is, if this model was made just as a toy, then why it had taken care of those intricate details which were not even heard of in that era? Did the Kimbaya civilization thousands of years ago was successful in making actual aircraft? Was this intricate model a replica of their aircraft? You might get the answer to this question in this video itself. 342 miles away from the Egyptian city of Cairo, is the place of worship of ancient Egyptians, which is known as the Temple of Seti. And this place is also hiding a lot of secrets. Like other ancient Egyptian sites, secret messages were engraved on the stone walls of this temple in hieroglyphics, which reveals a lot of details about the life and death of people living here and kings ruling this place. These 2,000-year-old hieroglyphics had some hidden messages that were maybe written for us. Egyptologist Dr. Ruth Hover was taking picture of these hieroglyphics for research. At the time, she felt something beneath her shoes. She saw a broken piece of hieroglyphics laying under her shoes. But she had no idea that the piece of this stone was about to make a sensation in the world. When Dr. Ruth Hover placed the broken piece to the rest of the hieroglyphics, then the entire thing became clear. The wall had some objects that resembles objects of modern technology a modern airplane, which had rudder in it, a helicopter-shaped object that resembles a modern-day war helicopter. Also, there was an object looked like modern yachts and submarines. This small piece of hieroglyphics had made the Egyptologists, researchers, and scientists amazed and confused. Because the technology, which is not even 200 years old, how did ancient Egyptians could know 2,000 years ago with so many details? It doesn't end here. Researchers believe that although helicopter, yacht, airplane, and submarine can be clearly understood, but what are these things beside them? Are these things technologies of the future, which we haven't seen yet? Or this is the proof found in the Temple of Seti that ancient Egyptians had all these technologies. These links to modern technology are not limited to the Temple of Seti. There is a tomb near oldest pyramid of Egypt called Djoser, where archaeologists had found a lot of show pieces made by ancient Egyptians. And among these showpieces, there was a wooden carved artifact that resembles a bird. 
Experts believe although the model at first glance looks like a bird, but after further research has revealed one mystery after another. Seeing its aerodynamic design and the location of its wings, it won't be an exaggeration to say that it bore resemblance to modern aircraft. To test these claims of the experts, it was needed to do a flying test of this bird-like model. Simon Anderson, who is an aerodynamic expert, created a replica of this model, which was five times larger than the original model. When the flying test of this model was carried out in the lab, seeing the results, Simon was very surprised. Model was completely aerodynamic, but one very vital piece was missing in it. An airplane needs a tail to take off and land, and this tail was not present in the model. But the surprising fact was that there was a mark of a broken part where the tail should have been. This broken part indicates that the person who made this model had added the tail, but due to some reason, the tail is now broken off. Simon added a tail to the model and again tested it in the simulator. And this time, the results were very surprising. The model was floating like a glider in the air, which is a proof that this 2,000-year-old model was perfect for flying. If the ancient Egyptians were able to make this perfect model, then were they able to fly that? This question will also leave experts and researchers wondering, like hieroglyphics found in Temple of Seti and the model of aircraft from the Quimbaya civilization. What do you think about these 2,000-year-old ancient airplane artifacts? Share your opinion in the comments below. And you can click here to watch Amazing Discovery of Lost World of the Ancient Mayan Civilization. I have explained it in detail in this video. If you like this video, you will definitely like that one too. Thanks for watching.